Well, a group of George Washington University College students not so happy about President Trump's tax plan. Watch this. What were your thoughts on Trump's tax plan when you saw it? Um, it's very, it's better for the upper class than anyone else. Pretty much a uh, horrible for the middle class, especially the lower class. I mean, not ideal. It's probably not the most efficient nor beneficial to the general populace. But guess, guess what happened when students were told that that plan came from Bernie Sanders? Bernie is planning to lower the small business tax rate to a maximum of 25%. I think that's a positive or negative? Um, I definitely think that's a positive. I feel very positively toward that. My family has a small business, so I would definitely think that's a positive thing. Taxing them less makes more sense. Kevin Phillips is the media director at campusreform.org, and he was the one interviewing those students and joins us now with more on this, and I can't wait to see the, hear about the insides of this. Absolutely. We saw how quickly... President Trump and all conservatives, political opponents, were to shut down this tax reform plan. They said it was evil, it was hateful. But it's funny, when they think the tax cuts are coming from a liberal candidate, they're suddenly compassionate. They're wonderful, they're beautiful, they're common sense. And once we told them that this was actually President Trump's tax plan that they seem to love so much, the responses were pretty fun. I think people enjoy them. What if I told you this actually is Donald Trump's tax plan, not Bernie's? You got me. <laughs> it is. It's, it's Trump's plan. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All of these are actually Trump's ideas. This is actually Trump's plan. What? Wow. Well, <laughs> well, that's interesting. That, well, I am shocked that I do agree with Trump on certain things. Interesting. Interesting. I'm definitely happily surprised that it like, sounds a lot better than I would have expected it to. I think a lot of this says people, specifically college students, they may not be that opposed to conservative principles. They think that they have to oppose everything from the right. That's what they're taught in class. That's what they're taught by the media. But when it's just the principles themselves, just not coming from conservatives, they realize, hey, this actually makes sense. But again, they're being indoctrinated daily by the media, by what they're learning in the classroom. And they think that because they're young, they have to oppose President Trump and his agenda. It's that, you know, shoot the messenger, don't shoot the messenger. It's basically who it's coming from. Yep. The plan itself yep. or the, the talking points are fine, but you're saying because of who it comes from, like, I don't know, it can't be good then. But exactly. maybe you taught them a lesson. Maybe going forward now they will think twice about these plans and whether they like them or not and who they're coming from. Well, that's <laughs> the goal, to get people and Americans as a whole to look at the issues. Don't right. look at who's presenting them. It doesn't have to be a tribalist mentality. Look at the issues. Decide based on what's best for our country, what's best for individual families. That's what people can decide an issue. Don't look at if there's an R or a D next to the name. Actually, many of the students came out at the end and said, look, I understand. I probably have a bias towards Trump. One student said Trump could give me ice cream. And I look at him and say, what's in that ice cream? Because I don't trust who it's coming from. At least they from. admit it, though. At least Have they it. admit it, though. That's a start. Admitting, you know, denial yeah, is the, the first sure. step. Admitting a problem. Well, that's very effective to waking them up. If you love your country, I expect you to go to every college campus and do the same thing. I'll do it. Glad. Ice cream. We'll do a Fox and Friends segment. Perfect. You've heard it. Yeah, that was fabulous. Well nice done, work. Great job.